No, I was just sick, really. I think everything going. We begin tonight with a community rallying after a devastating fire just weeks before Christmas. Good evening, everybody. I'm Homa Bash. And I'm Rob Powers. That fire destroyed a warehouse holding donations for Toys for Tots. Inside that building, gifts for thousands of children. This is all unfolding in Sherrodsville in Carroll County. News 5's Clay Lepard went there today, saw how the group is now at least trying to pick up the pieces. 18 days until Christmas. I was in the office. Bob Stratton finds himself scrambling. It just happened quick. Decades of memories in his office destroyed in minutes. But it's not the trinkets, the tools, or even the cars that concern him. There's nothing left of the toys. He's also a Toys for Tots coordinator for Tuscarawas County. A lot of them kids, that's the only toy they get. It's a passion this 87-year-old Marine has held for 40 years. Everything's also replaceable, and the toys are too, but it'll just take us a little bit to get up to speed. About $8,000 worth of toys collected, taken in this fire. Terrible. Must have been a 40 or 50 mile an hour wind, right when at the wrong time, and it just fanned the flames. Those winds stirring the fire so quickly that by the time volunteer firefighters arrived from less than a mile away, their focus was already on saving the neighboring home. Called me and said the garage was burning. So by the time I got the fire truck just around the corner and back, it was already a total loss. A total loss that's quickly igniting a movement. In just the past day, toys started coming into this Methodist church right down the street. <laughs> A makeshift workshop for kids newborn to 15, getting up and running in time for Christmas. We're going to go ahead with Toys for Tots. Last year we did 3,000 kids. We're going to try and do the same this year. Marines never quit. If you're interested in making a donation, there will be a toy drive this Sunday afternoon at the Tuscarora Park Pavilion where every donation will be matched. We've put more information on that in this story. Just head to the News 5 app or news5cleveland.com. In Carroll County, Clay Lepard, News 5.